Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play High Fleet. We've just finished the prologue and we're now in the actual game proper. So we have the whole randomly generated map, which... Yeah, there's quite a lot to do. There's Jaffa, and we need to get to... Oh jeez, we need to get to Kiva, capture the reactor. I still don't know what sort of reactor they're talking about, why it's so important, and why do they not wish to lose it. So uh, it might be just a normal fission or fusion reactor, maybe. Perhaps that's why it's so important, because it's a breakthrough in technology. I don't know. Oops. I didn't want to do that, but now I did. Let's see. Uh, I, pressed, uh, I pressed shift by mistake. So now we have the time over here available, and if we don't do it, we we'll lose the signal. It's coming from there. Interesting. Polaris, going at speed 110. The route Agtash. The chemicals urgently require on arrival. Drinking water 20 ton. Or like. So let's see. <clears throat> so this guy is somewhere over there. Um, the route Agtash and something. So he's from. He's going from Agtash to I guess Eridu. Eridu, Eridu. I don't know. Anyway, uh, not much we could, we can do about that. I mean, we can try and pursue that, but yeah. We are very slow. Uh, the speed of the Sevastopol is 94, and most of these um, transports go at around 90 to 130-ish. Uh, so not much we can do there right now. Anyway, the first thing we need to decide is where to go. Uh, I'm going to shut off... Oops. I'm going to shut off the radar, because radar can be detected. So every now and then we are going to do one sweep uh, when I think there might be ships nearby. And if we don't find anything, that's that's fine. We still have the IR detector, the infrared. Uh, I think it has a lower... No, I think it has a pretty long range. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, that'll be explained to us. We've got 41% fuel, uh, so it's enough to go to any of these. Now, usually I like to fuel up these... Um, fuel stations because the fuel is cheaper so i like to just keep my um you know get as little fuel as possible and f fuel up there however we don't want to really be completely empty and then fuel up as much as possible at one single place because staying that long there uh, gets dangerous so let's see we could go here to Aktash and gizram uh, there's ship repairs we don't really need ship repairs and then cheaper fuel there or we could go to Bok bokim for cheaper fuel we could also get to Borod there, but I really want to capture these stations, these um, signal centers, because they give you uh, intel. There's one here, one there. Hmm. It might be prudent to maybe go here to Bokim, get fuel, and then go here to the enemy intel, and then just fly across to this one. That could be a possibility. So we're probably going to go to here which is ship repairs, we don't really need them. But first, I think we're gonna get some fuel. Um, so we have enough to go to the fuel storage, something like this. We can also buy ammunition here, by the way, which we probably should because we're gonna be using... I love the fact that all of these are very nicely drawn and detailed. So if something is small, for example, I mean small, it's a hundred millimeter shells, you know, huge, but here, here's the 37 millimeter, you know, and they look properly smaller than the hundred millimeter or the uh, 180 millimeter laser guided rocket. I think that's a rocket or maybe it's a rocket propelled explosive of some sort. Uh, incendiary, incendiary, yeah, that's what we need, because our gladiator and lightnings use that. So we're gonna buy all of this for now, and now we've got that in uh, our register. I'm not gonna buy anything else. There's the aircraft missiles. It says no ships, but um, we do have aircraft, so I don't really know what that's all about. So <clears throat> let me go to the shipworks and actually inspect the longbow. Carrier heavy frigate. So we've got all these little... Guys here, a light turbojet fighter bomber and a supersonic jet fighter interceptor. So we've got two interceptors. Crew people, ammo needed, durability 50. This thing also has two of the cannons, so that's good. It's got four halon extinguishers. It's got a lot of um, uh, escape pods. Um, a 
lot of these engines as well. It's probably pretty slow, yeah, the thrust to weight ratio is 1.8, but I am wondering how these are controlled in, uh, in game. We'll see. It's gonna be quite interesting. There's all the ammo and power and so on and so forth. Okay. Anyway, this uh, Skylark does not have enough evac pods, so us being the good duke that we are, um, well, we can't because there's no evac pods to actually buy here, so we cannot equip this one with another evac. Uh, these are good. These are 7.8 thrust to weight ratio. I really do like the lightning. It's excellent. It's an excellent craft and the gladiator is just a power powerhouse. Uh, all right, let's uh, exit that. So we're going to wait until we're uh, nicely fueled up because we do have some time here to stay. There we go. That's that. And now we can go to reinforcements, reinforcements, cheaper fuel. You know what? I'm actually gonna go for the rare modules. Yeah, let's go for the rare modules, and then we're gonna fly to the fuel there and capture both of these uh, stations. So let's see what kind of rare modules. Now, rare module sounds good, but me being the newbie that I am, I don't really have a lot of use for them sometimes, because while it says that it's a heat-seeking rocket, I, you know, it doesn't really give you any other information. Um, I'll show you that. So now that we get close to this place, uh, the guy will tell us... Well, the guy, I still can't remember his name. Sorry, General. Uh, Tarkan, sir, shall we prepare a strike group? Yes, General. Uh, do you want to send these ships ahead? Now, usually it selects, like, everything. But I really just want the two lightnings to go right now. One would most likely be enough. Uh, but I, I just want to be sure. Now, the reason you don't want to just send everything... Well, one, if you send the Sevastopol, you're way too slow to actually uh, perform a sudden strike. As you can see, 0%. Um, that's interesting. 0%... Um, a chance of that which means that if we were to use Sevastopol as well we would be too late to get there and they would have sent off a message and a strike group would be heading our way we don't want that if we select these guys they're all fast enough to actually get there but the reason you don't just want to select everyone here or these guys is uh, because they will lose morale they will use one morale each time they fight which is not you know horrible they will get their morale back as they rest but you know i just want to have some stuff in um in uh reserve so yes send these guys forward if we now look at these guys it always goes to some weird place when you zoom in out, out like that so the two lightnings are now going forward i love these trails it looks so good now they will get there and as soon as they get into range see these guys are now trying to send a distress signal but we cut them off before that. And... Oh! Wow, this guy has a lot of rockets. Holy moly, this is a little better defended than uh, what I'm used to right at the beginning. This is gonna get interesting. Alright. Yeah, they're already firing off missiles. There you go. That's why I love this thing. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try getting below them. No. No, thank you. Let's get these guys first. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Nice. Some boost down there to avoid that. Avoid the high G forces. And the lightning is are so good. They're so good. We didn't lose any crew, so that's good. We got two honor. Uh, there could be survivors in the surface, Duke. If we don't save them, people will talk. We could salvage something valuable. Something we could sell in the city. And we could certainly use the money. But we must act quickly. The fire is spreading. It will consume the wreckage before long. And be careful out there, my duke. Some of the things you may find may be too dangerous. So, 
Now that we've destroyed those ships, we get the option of actually dismantling them. And there's quite a lot of stuff. You can see that there's radiation. I've never actually had to deal with radiation yet. It's never been a problem, so I don't know how that's going to work later on. But every time we search for something, time is going to advance, and all of these bars are going to go down. And this one, for example, is just going to um, get consumed by fire so these two are gonna go and also as you can see there are um, exclamation marks here which means that when these are destroyed they will destroy a random let's see extinguish it before it explodes destroying one random object so we have to be careful about that and the skull means that without protection 50% chance of an accident so you can put your put on protective suits uh, this will take extra time but it will save your people and usually I don't do this because I don't go for the skulls however searching the radio room would be very very nice uh, but I think these fuel tanks and everything are gonna destroy something first so let's go for some fuel that, that burnt up. And now... We can search for survivors and then search the radio room. But I don't think I have enough time. So, let's... We can either do one or the other. Um, the radio room will give us pieces of their code. Because they will start encrypting their messages. So, I think first I'm going to start searching for survivors. There. So now doing this is a little dangerous. We're just going to secure the ammunition. There we go. So we got some ammo. And now while uh, our main task group is arriving, we're going to land one of these lightnings that's uh, damaged. It's actually not damaged that much. Uh, so that's good. I don't have to land it. Oh, there's a 54 there. I'll, I'm going to shut up so you can enjoy all the sounds. A nice, work, nice, lovely touchdown. If you position your ships well during landing, this could greatly accelerate repairs. So, I love the fact that it's still smoking and there's fire from the engines. I love that. It's so cool. So, uh, we've only got two of the uh, engines damaged here and some of this uh, hull. No biggie. It's actually not going to cost us anything. Uh, I'm not sure why sometimes it doesn't cost anything. I think it's because we're using 53 parts. Holy moly. So, these guys have quite a lot of uh, cool stuff. Uh, we actually do want to buy some rockets. A radar homing turbojet. Look at this thing. It's giant. I can't even put it on there. Uh, we want anti-radiation. See, this is what I don't understand. It says an anti-radiation missile designed to track and target enemy radar signature. Oh, it doesn't mean ionizing radiation. It means anti-radiation as in it detects radar signatures and homes in on them. Okay, I get it now. All right. I was I, I was thinking like there's radiation in this game. How is it an anti-radiation thing? Zenith, this is, these are the ones we want. We're going to equip them because they're quite useful. You do see that the thrust to weight ratio is going down as we add more weight. So, you know, it's gonna, it's not going to be as maneuverable. Uh, did they destroy a crew quarters? Why is the crew low? Oh yeah, this is gonna be the Mark II, because it's got missiles. There we go. Yeah, see this one is at 100%, and this one not. Yeah, it's probably because they've damaged something, I don't know. Anyway, um... I'm also going to put this one in docks so we can put some rockets on it. I mean, it's going to take it's going to take less time, I believe, if we do that. You can also do it in. Uh, well, there's a 16 there, but it's, you know, it's, it doesn't really meters. matter. Lovely soft landing. 
It, it's so satisfying to do this, to do these nice landings. I don't know, I, I can't explain it. You, you need to play the game and do this. It's, it's really nice. Anyway, we're going to do this. Uh, exit. So that's going to take three hours. Uh, so this is going to be... Yeah. I don't want to save it as a new class. I just want to... How do I... Wait, how do I do this? How do I just change it to a different class? Oh, I can change the names of these. Oh, nice. <clears throat> okay, um... How do I change the actual class? Because what I'm fearing is that if I name it Lightning Mark II again, is there's going to be uh, three classes then. Lightning, Lightning Mark II, and a Lightning Mark II. <laughs> I don't want that, but okay, let's see if it happens or not. There's an anti-radiation missile, radar homing turbo jet. Uh, these are too big. No, I don't want to actually buy this one. Oh, there's a polash. I kind of want that, to be honest. Um, did it, the sign to defend uh, the ship against artillery shelling. It would be nice, but they are very expensive and they will drag the ship down. So I think for now... I might keep that as is. Oh, they've got the 725, a 57 millimeter multi-purpose twin cannon. A 180 millimeter large. I love these. I, I should place these there. But they're going to be too heavy. There's various radars. 500 long range early warning radar system. Another one. See, this is what I mean. This one says long range early warning radar system. Long range early warning radar system. What's the difference? This one is 500. This one is 700. This one is more than double as expensive as this one. Um, you know, give me some specs. Can I hold like shift alt? No, nothing. Um, this thing is huge. Look at that thing. No, I... And that, that would use all of my cash up. Uh, two quarters, six megawatts, three megawatts. Oh, there's the escape pods. Anyway, that's, yeah, okay, fine. There's the Mark II. Let's see. Okay, so it didn't save it as another one. However, there is also a Tarkan over here with an Intrepid Mark II. A group of people from the ship approach you. They're all dressed in military uniforms, but do not appear to be armed. <clears throat> a tall Elaim walk, walks ahead of the rest. His face is open to the elements, and a sword allows its hilt from behind his back. Uh, no, shows its hilt. All signs of a man of noble birth. Wait a second. Um, this is the one... This is the one we've already talked to in the prologue. That's a bit weird. So I'm gonna... He doesn't like the Romani, we know that. In the name of the Empire... The Romani Empire is the largest state in the known world. It was founded in the first century by the highest ranking members of the fleet. Duke Sayadi, chosen to rule the empire, became the first hereditary monarch. Glory to Gerrit. Gerrit is the vast desert. Yeah, let's do glory to Gerrit. There we go. Very proud of lame. Good. Peace be upon you, son of Sayadi. I am Omar Khan. I'm looking for allies to wage war. Oh, there is something I must give you first. Give the small pot to Omar. Omar's hands move carefully as he opens the pot. His eyes suddenly freeze in their sockets. Finally, he looks up at you and responds. His voice is shaking imperceptibly now. You sense that he is incredibly excited. Excellent. What do you want, Grand Duke? I'm looking for allies to wage war on Kiva. Will you join us? You get the feeling Omar is expecting something else. When he realizes that this is it, he responds. It will be an honor, Grand Duke. I want to meet other Tarkans. Do you know where to find them? The Tarkans scattered after the war in Kiva, but I've heard rumors of a Tarkan living to the northeast of here. Thank you, I appreciate it. So now we got Omar Khan, and we've got his intrepid Mark II. Excellent, that was nice. With a little bit of... Uh, well, not metagaming, because the game gives you those... Um, that data. So now we're going to unpause and wait for our... Uh, Sevastopol to arrive. It's kind of weird that you can talk to these guys because I was I was assuming that you as a duke are actually on the Sevastopol, but you know. So now you can see why, why does it say in crew 97%? I don't understand that. Like we don't have enough crew. We didn't lose anyone. 
I don't know. Is it because we rescued crew and we have too much of it? Maybe they'll go on the Sevastopol. So anyway, these guys are getting repaired and the morale is going up as they are resting. As you can see if I... Uh, do that. Yeah, there we go. 180%. Alright, so now... We want to get some fuel. We don't have a lot of money left, unfortunately. Oh, wait a second. Uh, no, 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 wait a second. I need to check first where we're going. So, let's do the radar just once. The nice thing about using the radar is... If you see something out of your way, you can send one of the lightnings, which is really fast there, to uh, try and destroy them, if it's a transport. So, we need to go to uh, Bokim. Here. Uh, reinforcements. We could also stop there. So we need to go there, there, and then there. I need a fair bit of fuel. <clears throat> so we're going to Bokim. And then about this... About this much to Tafet. No, sorry. We're going to Kem. And then to Bokim. But we need a little bit more. There. Alright, look at that. The sounds are so nice. Alright, so what I wanted to do was go to the Skylark and actually purchase an escape pod. Because we're a good duke and we care about our people. There. So we have to place it somewhere where, it's, where it can actually fly, you know, free. So you can't really put it here because, well, it's blocked. Uh, so we're gonna put it here, for example. Now that's gonna be enough for all the crew. Uh, and of course it says it's armless. We could put something on it, but mm, I don't know. Um, we can do that later when we salvage some weapons. But let's let's put a... <laughs> okay, uh, I think that's pretty good. All right. We could put it into docks, but it's just going to take half an hour for this. Uh, Skylark. Yeah, Mark II, because that's the better, better one now. Uh, this thing, I love the Gladiator. It's got these AK-100, four of them, and they are just so powerful. They're excellent. Uh, I could put some bombs on this, but like I said, bombing, eh, not really that great. I could put it on the Lightnings, but it's going to weigh them down. Maybe the Intrepid already has bombs. Uh, it's got two of them. We could put more of them um, on here. No. Yeah, like so. Oh, it's not going to be in the way. Interesting. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Most of the time, you don't really get more than two, uh, you know, two bombing runs. But, you can see that there's some launchers up here, and the escape pods, and there's no armor up here. Yeah, so we're not going to do that. <clears throat> I'm not going to be putting armor on the lightning, because if we do that, for example, if we put the large armor on here, look at the thrust to weight. 7.6? 7. That's, uh, yeah... That's a lot of difference. Uh, so we're gonna not do that. Maybe the Gladiator, because it's very, very nicely heavily armored. But that's already... You know, that's fine. Uh, we just cannot be hit from the bottom, so... Yeah, that's fine. I know I'm kind of wasting the rare modules and everything, but there you go. Let's refuel. And morale is back to 10, which is excellent. This place is going to become dangerous soon. So now we're going to go for reinforcements and see what we can do there. Probably not much because, um, well, we don't really have a lot of money. So we're going to go there. Is it nighttime? Man, I love the effect and the sound effect and everything. <clears throat> right, speed up. There's a range 842 kilometers. Alright. Every now and then I do like to do one sweep just to see if we can find a transport or something. Unfortunately, nothing for the moment. So we're gonna send our, um... Not the Skylark. We're gonna send the Lightning Mark IIs. Two of them. Now this is something I... Oh, crew 93%. It still says that. Why? I don't understand that. Crew 100%. Crew 97%. Uh, I mean 93%. Why, why does it say that? I don't know. We'll see. 
right now they should go. Maybe they'll just be a little less uh, useful in combat. I don't know. There, they're trying to send a message, but we give them no time. Afterburners. All right. So we've got three of them. Tiny little attack corvettes. This one with lots of missiles again, and the slogger. Uh, no, they don't really have any armor on the top or on the bottom, as you can see. So that's pretty nice. This one is not armored at all. Uh, Lightning Mark Two Morale Nine. Oh, that's fine. All right. Now we've got missiles. Uh, so let's uh, let's send off a nice little missile. Come on, where are you guys? Nice. Oops. That was close. Nice, another kill confirmed, and another missile away. Boom! Unfortunately, it hit the armor. But we now know that this guy is... Oh, he's actually trying to... Oh, no good! No good! Oof! Not good. We took a bit of unnecessary damage there, but I really was not expecting that guy to fire off a missile so close. However, I should have expected it because, um, well, they did have all the missiles up top. Veteran Engineer, the ship cruising range is increased by 30%. Or the crew have been forged in the heat of battle and are thus more resilient against hardships. Don't really know what that does. I'm guessing they recover their morale faster, which would be perfect for these guys. Um, cruising range is increased by 30% is pretty nice, though. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do cruising range for now. So, uh, all of this is gonna go. We can search for survivors. Let's. We could dismantle some of these to get some money. Um, let's dismantle. Hopefully it doesn't... Ah! Well, we did get it, I think. Let's search for survivors. And we can still do this. Excellent. So now we got to land that one. Uh, this one, because it's been damaged. Nothing's missing, though. Talking your ships is not necessary. Yep. 36, 42 over there. 72 all the way to the right. I love the, the fire going, look, look at that, on the ground. Oh, 72 is there. I love that, how it impacts the ground. It's just so nicely done. It is lovely. So. 100 meters. Everyone get ready. Touchdown confirmed. There we go. Excellent. 72%. And I'm garb. The city's doyen approaches you, bowing repeatedly. Uh, he represents you with a flowing robe embroidered in gold. Even from afar, you can tell that it is a veritable masterpiece of incredible luxury, made with exceptional skill. One of my father's masters, tailors, made it. Money cannot buy a robe such as this. I wonder how this doyen got his hands on it. Dressing as Garrett royalty will impress the Alames greatly, but the Romani might find it distasteful. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be humble this run. We're gonna be humble and kind. Sell the robe at a profit. Yeah, the Alames are not gonna be uh, liking that. Your people are against insulting the Romanis. So, yeah, we're gonna sell that. 5,000. Well, that's not too bad. Get it. Minus one, which is... Oh, wealth minus one. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, ship works, first of all. So, uh, yeah, the bottom got reasonably heavily damaged because of that rocket. We're going to repair that. And now you can actually choose which one. So we're going to do the Lightning Mark two, And it's also going to... What? Why is it not putting the rockets on there? Oh, because they don't have any. All right, fair enough. And we do have these AK-725s now. Mm, I'm not a huge fan of the fast-firing small uh, caliber weapons, to be honest. They are very nice for taking down uh, missiles. I concede that. Uh, but 
Yeah, this guy's still at 93% crew. I do not understand. Let's see. Full 34% fuel. Something's going on here. It's got its crew stuff. Uh, where is it? There's the bridge. Don't really... Hmm. Large crew quarters. Well, it's not gonna help. Because, look, it says 60. It's the same. Do these need... Oh, the, the missiles need more people. Oh, that's why. Okay, that's that's not a huge deal, actually. As soon as we fire them off, it's fine. So, yeah, that's completely fine. Now we can actually hire these. A diminutive corvette envisioned as a dedicated bomber by a particularly bright-minded command. This one-trick pony is only good for releasing explosive payloads over targets at low altitudes. For what it's worth, however, she's well-suited for the job and has secured a place in the fleet. Yeah, that's really not good. It's just four bombs and a single 2A37, it's not great. I, I wish bombing runs were made sort of more fun because you get so little time to do bombing. Fat Man, a tech heavy Corvette. Uh, four of the 2A37s, but it's very expensive. Oh, fearsome. Eight, oh, 180, I love those cannons. Yeah. I want those. Lightning, I don't want the lightning. Okay, for now, nothing. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. We're going to continue next time when we actually land here and get some fuel because this is not a fuel depot, so never mind. Uh, we have, well, we need just a smidge of fuel to get to Bokhim. And then next, uh, we're going to fuel up there. And next time we're going to go to Tafet and get the um, Troposcatter, I think it says communications. See you then. Bye-bye.